Now, the recent spike in military tension at the DMZ served as yet another reminder of the instability and division on the Korean peninsula. But an art exhibition in Seoul is trying to offer a fresh perspective of what it's like on the southern side of the buffer zone. Our Park se has the details. From sound to visuals, this year's Real DMZ project takes audiences closer to the demilitarized zone separating the two Koreas. The sound of insects and birds over the noise of machines was recorded in Cheolwon in Gangwon-do province, which is off limits to civilians. The audience can also get a glimpse of the forbidden area through 3D images created from the memories of former soldiers. The scenic nature is accompanied by tension between the divided Koreas. This piece of work compares images filmed from war museums in Seoul and Pyongyang. The two Koreas have a similar yet somewhat different way of remembering and interpreting the war. Both the museum is very heroic and you can say propagandistic and also claims the victory of the war. This year's Real DMZ project marked its fourth year with an exhibition titled Live Time of Dongsong, which highlights traces of the divided Korean peninsula. Artists originally decorated various locations in Dongsong, a small town some 10 kilometers south of the southern limit line of the DMZ and living example of the state of division. The town was part of North Korea after the Second World War before becoming part of the South after the Korean War. The works displayed in the borderline area were transferred to Art Sanjay Center in Seoul last month, where they'll be on display through November. Park Se-young, Arirang News.